This is Mike Kavanaugh with Hero News. I'm here with one of my friends, Max Reiser. How are you? Good, thanks, Mike. Okay, so I finally got to see you act in a live performance. Yay. It was fantastic. Thank you. So here we are at the Austerity of Hope, an amazing new play. Very, very gay, very fun, but a lot of great issues. Right. It's a lot. It was a lot, I have to say. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a really beautiful play, and we, uh, we originated it last year at the Fresh Fruit Festival, and it was so successful that we brought it back for a three-week run this year. Uh, mostly a new cast and somewhat of a new script, and uh, it's been really, really wonderful. Well, you got me at the first moments when there was cute boys taking their clothes off, yours included. Boys, yes, you like doing included. that, don't you? I love doing that. <laughs> there's yes, nothing better. Yeah, yes, there's nothing better. So tell us how this play came about and why you're involved. Um, I got involved last year simply by being cast as Simon Green. Uh, the writer told me that as soon as he saw me, he knew I was Simon, which was awesome, even though I play an asshole in the first. And you're, so, you're so not an asshole. The play, right? Not an asshole yeah. at all, but it's wonderful to get to play an asshole. Um, and then it's also really, really wonderful to fall in love with this man who's been straight and married to a woman and really go through the experience of what that is and what that means. You know, it was a lot in this play, and I was sitting there counting on my fingers. Well, that happened to me. I kind of relate to that. I think that this is a play that a lot of people can relate to, don't you think? Oh, no, absolutely. There's so many wonderful characters, and each of these characters has a very, very, very intense, specific relationship with another character. And, yeah, I think, I think the characters are really real, so I think the audience really identifies with what's going on. Uh -huh. It's a absolutely amazing. Un un incredible ensemble cast, I have to say. Yeah, no, agreed. Agreed. I mean, where did they find all these amazing, talented people? Well, it is New York, but oh, I have to say whoever did the casting did a great job. So listen, this is a great play. It's right here at the Abington Theater, yep. which is on 312 West 36th Street, my neck of the woods. Uh, where can they get tickets? Uh, tickets are available on smartix.com, and I will give you a special discount code later if people want to save some money and come see the show anyway. Well, you definitely need to come see this show. You know, I don't recommend things very often, but I did uh, really like this piece, actually. Thank it's you, always Mike. good to see you. Nice to see you. And again, you know, you're doing Chaser and lots of things. So keep up with Max Riser, a rising star, and one to watch, I hear. Thanks, Mike. Awesome. I'm here with the director. How are you? Hi. Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> what is your name? Dan DeNero. Okay, Dan, I have to say that you did a fantastic job. I really enjoyed everything about this play. You know, it's hard to have such a small, or such a big ensemble cast in such a small space. Yes. You made it work. It was yes. really, really cool. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Um, a lot of what I tried to do in this play is uh, take um, lots of different stories that are happening at the same time and, and overlap them. So that's one way to take a large ensemble cast and put them in a small space, to have uh, overlapping things. and. Uh, overlapping stories. Very creative. And how, how did you get involved with this project? Um, actually, I've known the playwright Dan Fingerman for about seven or eight years, and he came to me when, one day a couple years ago and said, I have this play, and you know, will you, will you take a look at it? Will you direct it, potentially? So um, this has been going on for three, four years now. It's awesome, and I saw in the program that you can actually vote for this for an off-off-Broadway award. How do you do that? Yes, yeah, so you go to nyitawards.com, and um, you can register to vote uh, once you come and see the show. You can, um, you know, vote for whatever elements you think are d worthy of notice. Okay, well, here's the thing. You first have to come see the play. Yes. So please do come to see the play. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, we're we're going to be posting it on our website, so please do that. And it was, you know, congratulations on a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm with the writer of this amazing play, Dan Fingerman. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Okay, so that was a lot. I was just telling Max, I need to see a therapist right now. Why do you need to see a therapist? Because I, I see a therapist anyway. No, I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was a lot of fun. A lot of topics. Really kind of cool. Yeah, well, we wanted to try to give sort of a diverse, you know, picture of what it means to be young and gay and what it means to be young and gay in Astoria. So, you know, we tried to sort of cover a lot but not cover too much so that it felt like it was being pounded on top of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, is this your first play that you've had produced? This is my first play, yeah. Hey, a virgin, we always like that. Well, I think you did a fantastic job. Oh, and w It was a labor of love, I'm sure. So have you always wanted to write plays, or how yeah. many have, have you written? You j this is your first one that you've had produced. Well, have you written? This is the first one that I've written, and this is the first that i produced. I was actually just saying to someone before, it was, uh, this show was sent, I started to write this after I had seen a number of shows that were, that purported to sort of be about the young gay experience uh, in the city or in the world. And each one I sort of came out of and I said, that's not really the people I know. That's not the sort of story I would want to tell. And so I started to write it. And then the uh, Obama election happened and it sort of became a natural backdrop. And I thought, okay, you know, this is something. And it just sort of developed into this. And uh, we sent it off to a number of festivals and a number of them said no. 
but uh sort of the last ditch like if we're gonna we were gonna send it to this one last festival and uh see if it if it was picked up and it was it was the fresh fruit festival and they did four performances last year and people seemed to love it and uh me dan denaro and Alyssa Rabinowitz sat down at a diner and said you know we really like doing that play let's do it again and so here we are that's great and are any of the characters based on friends of yours yeah a <laughs> little bit you know it's funny because you know some people you know my mother will say you know she thinks I'm Mike, and my friends will think I'm Simon, and obviously my mother doesn't think I'm Simon, but anyway. Um, but the, uh, it is, they are based on people. They're sort of, um, you know, combinations of very different people, and it's funny when we show the play, when there's people from Astoria in the audience, or people that I know, they'll very often come out after and say, you know, I was that character, but he says he was that character, and they'll be fighting about it. So they are based on very real people. It's not that Simon is this or Mike is this. They're sort of, you know, combinations of many different people with a lot of what-ifs and whatnot. Well, I think it's very interesting. I think this is a play that you'll really like if you love things, all things New York. You love gay characters. There's a lot of different things and mixed things going on and lots of relationships that are very very interesting things and topics, and I think it's a fantastic play. So congratulations on this, and uh, come and see this. And when is it running until? It is running until November 3rd. There are, I believe, 11 more performances. Tickets are $18. You can get them on Smart Kicks, and you can find us on Facebook.com slash Austerity of Hope. Okay, you only have a little time. It's GayLifeNYC.org, which uh, was our, our, our original name, but no, it is not me, oh, but okay. unfortunately. But it's it's a pretty model, and we like our microphone. Okay. So, again, congratulations, and please go get your tickets now before November 4th. And wait. start writing. Get another play under yeah. your belt, all right? Thanks so much. It was so nice chatting with you.